Hello everyone. In today's video, I'd like to share with you uh, a simple way to manage um, your front-end configuration settings. So the typical problem is, is when you're building your front-end project, for example, I decided to rewrite uh, like a form for a job submission for crypto jobs list with React instead of using Google Forms. So the problem is that when I'm developing, I, for example, do not want to use uh, Google Analytics. I, I want to use my, uh, you know, test key for Stripe and a ton of other settings and uh, API keys that are specific to my development localhost environment. And in production, I want to use I want to use my real production API. I want to have a public key from Stripe that is production ready and not the test key and the actual Google Analytics code, for example, right? So over the course, I don't know, of many years, I've seen developers screw it up really bad uh, the way they manage uh, configs in their projects. So I found this pretty, it's not, it's not really a really genius plugin, I'd say, but it's, it's pretty cool uh, config extension you can actually can survive even without it and just if you code really nicely um, but what I've done is basically um, I imported this plugin right uh, this react global configuration package and I created this specific config directory uh, where I basically decided to um, manage my production and development config files, right? So these are my various settings. Oops. So the I really decoupled all of these into separate files. I really want to keep my settings really clean so there is no other like business logic code, but just you know API domain, and I have my you know API domain, Chris Chat ID, etc., uh, without any you know if else conditioning, etc. So I created dedicated files for them, and what I'm doing here is okay, let me just focus on this uh, in localhost environments. So basically, if our location is localhost, I will first import production config, which is this one, right? Import it and set. Uh, this argument freeze false basically means that this object, once the settings are being set, the object is not being frozen. So it's, we can modify it later. Um, and then I assign on top of it development settings from here. So basically my dev settings overwrite um, my production settings. So, for example, if I, I don't know, if I if I delete uh, my API domain, uh, my production domain settings will take will 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 be will take the major major position. Uh, it will basically set as config file. And in production, uh, just production file get a get a is set. Okay. And the beauty, why I really like this configuration, React global configuration um, package is that basically I can um, go to any, any, um, any component that I have and, and uh, import config file and then do get for example, um, API domain. So the beauty of this is that I don't need to do to write this kind of nested relative um, directory paths. I hate them. I really like just to import like this pretty high level and it, it just works. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys and you're gonna keep your configuration files clean and neat like this. Oh yeah, in my index file, obviously, uh, requ uh, require config file just to 
get it set up um, and configured globally. That's it. Hope it's been useful for you.